All right, there's another way you can change file permissions, and that is using a uh, explicit way to do it where it doesn't care what is already there, it just completely changes it to what you tell it. And that is done using octal permissions uh, to change the file. So to give you a quick example, if I wanted to change the permissions on file two so, so that only the owner, sorry, the user has permissions, I could do chmod, and I could do 700, and I could do file two. And now if I look at the file two permissions, I have just read, write, execute on file two. If I wanted to not have execute, I could do 600. 600 and um, now I just have read and write. So you're probably thinking, where does this 600, 700 uh, nonsense come from? And that comes from the binary representation of where those bits would be in the octal permission in the, the octal numbering system. So basically, we have three groups of permissions, three three groups of permissions, and each of those three groups is three bits, and those three bits have a numeric value, four, two, and one. And that's the binary value of those bits uh, if you add them up uh, in, in binary. So uh, to come up with permissions you want, you simply add the two numbers to get the three numbers together to be what you want. So in this case, if we wanted to end up with these exact permissions we have here, read, write, x, read, x, read, x, we would add 4 to 1 to get read, write, x. So that would be 7. And then we would have 4 and 1 because we would have read an x so that would be 5 and then we would have another 5 because we would have 4 and 1 again so if we wanted to end up with these permissions exactly we would do 755 so if we look at um, we'll do that on file 3 shamad 755 file 3 and now we see that we ended up exactly uh, with those permissions. So basically you just have to do a little calculation. You have to know which permissions you want. Uh, you have to know the, the value for that position of the permissions and you add it all up. So there'll be some examples in the quiz where you have to figure that out. So let's do another example. Say we want to have read write for user and we want to have read for everybody else. Heck, did that go away? Yeah. Read for everybody else. So I don't know why it's doing that, it's annoying. So we'll have, to get these permissions, we'll end up with, oh, that's where I didn't get rid of the X. We will get those values. So we'll have six, four, four. So we'll do chmod six, four, four, file three. Um, which one should you use? Well, it depends on what you're doing. If you want to explicitly set the permissions to exactly a certain thing, you should use the numbers. If you just want to add read or remove execute from permissions that already exist but leave the rest of them intact, you should, uh, you should use the uh, symbolic um, because that will leave, leave the rest of them intact. So um, that, uh, that was that. Uh, see, the next thing I want to talk about is um, how you can uh, change the group of a file without changing the uh, owner. So let me, let me go back. Change the group of a file. As root, if I want to change the, the group of the file and the owner of the file, sorry. As root, if I want to change the owner of the file, I can use chone and I can say, I want the owner of file uh, to be RBE1111 of file2. And now we look and see that now the owner of file2 is uh, my user. A regular user cannot change the owner of a file. So I could not give my file away. See, no, no permission. Regular users cannot change the owner of their file. Uh, only root can change the owner of files. You can also, root can also use chone to change the, the user and the group of a file. So if I wanted to change uh, directory one to be this user and I want to change it to be that user's primary group, I can put a colon between the two and then I can uh, change it. 
year one. Right, so now if I look at the owner and the, and the group, the owner is now this user and the group is now uh, that group. So you can use Chamad to change the owner and the group. If you just wanna change the group, you can do use the ch group or change group command and you can specify a group you wanna change it to and then the file or directory you wanna change the group on. So that is how you can change the group. We see we had the group was RBE1111 and then I just changed it uh, to users uh, as root. Um, you can, if you are the owner of a file, you can change the group, but only to groups you are a member of. So file three, I'm gonna change the group to users for file three as my regular user ID. See, I'm my, I'm my regular user ID. Files, file three. And that let me change the group. But what I cannot do is I cannot change the group uh, to a group that I'm not a member of. So this is my other user IDs group. And uh, I'm not allowed to do that. So for changing groups, you can change groups. If you're a member of multiple groups, you can change between the groups you're a member of. If you are uh, not a member of a group, you cannot change your file to be that group. Um, another thing you might want to, to know, a couple different things. If you do ls-l with a capital R, that does a uh, recursive listing, which shows you the files and directories within that directory. Dear two, dear one. So I just did a capital R, so now it, it, uh, it showed me the, the, direct, the files in that directory. If I want to change permissions on all the files and uh, directories inside a directory, I can do that with a, so say I want to take read from other away from dear one. So I can do uh, O minus R for remove uh, read from other, and I can tell what I want it to, to, to remove it from. But I also want to put a dash capital R uh, to do it recursively. So now if I run the ls dash lr capital R, I take took read away from um, from uh, all of those files within that directory. Be careful when you do things recursively because sometimes you can have uh, unintended consequences. Uh, also, make sure recursively is a capital R, not a lowercase r, uh, to do things recursively. Um, and I think that is all I'm going to put in this podcast. I'm going to go over another podcast of how we can interpret some of the file permissions. Uh, but that's it for uh, hopefully understanding file permissions and how to, to change them and also how to change the group uh, associated with the file and the owner of a file. Uh, rem remember, only uh, the user who owns the file can change the permissions and root can change the permissions and only root can change owners of files. And in order for a user to be able to change the group, the user has to be a member of the group it wants to change uh, the files to.